Hi, it's Elaine Swan, the Etiquette Lady. Welcome to O Behave. It's my weekly wrap-up of who behaved and who did not behave during the week. And I'm here talking to you from the set of my show, Oceanside Spectrum. So we cleared out the crew, and I'm going to talk to you about who needs to be on the list and who shouldn't. So here we go. Number one on my list for this week is Nancy, is Dr. Nancy Snyderman from NBC. She and her crew were quarantined because one of the cameramen had developed the Ebola virus. They're supposed to stay quarantined, but they decided to go out and get some soup from one of her favorite restaurants. Well, uh, not good because someone caught Nancy and a couple of people in the car out there waiting, which ended up setting up a whole scare. And the sad thing is when she apologized, she didn't really take uh, full responsibility for her involvement with it as well. So one of the things that I think is important for Nancy to remember is just be careful. You know, one of my three core values of etiquette is consideration. And so you have to be considerate of other people, especially when it comes to a deadly virus. None of us are above the law and we should all be considerate of other people, especially when it comes to something that other people can develop. So not so good, Nancy. Uh, next time, hopefully you listen. Speaking of the Ebola virus, a lot of people are trying to figure out what they're going to wear for Halloween this year. And it has been noted by some Halloween costume suppliers that people are thinking about wearing the hazmat suit. In my opinion, too soon, too tacky, and a big giant no-no. So do not come out with that particular costume. I will provide a full list of costumes you should not be wearing this holiday season but the Ebola uh, hazmat costume that people are thinking about putting together is not a good one. Do not do this in the work environment and do not do this at somebody's Halloween party because I'm telling you, you will shut it down with people looking at you saying that you're a little bit, uh, a little bit insensitive. So that's a big no in my book. No costumes like that. This week started out as a really rough week for Miss Izzy Isaiah. Oh, bless her heart. She started out getting into a big row, a big fight in the parking lot of a store with paparazzi. She was screaming at him, spitting at him. And I tell you, he was just pushing her buttons to make her go bananas. I felt a little bad for her because you can tell he was doing that. But at the same time, it was important for her to keep her cool. He did follow her into the store, which is creepy. But uh, as she gets more and more into her celebrity status, hopefully she can connect with someone that will help her to figure out how to kind of navigate this thing. Don't let them get to you, Izzy. It's okay, honey. They're doing their job, but just don't let them make you, don't let them see you sweat over it, okay? Speaking of Iggy Azela, she had another tough time this week because for some reason Snoop Dogg decided he wanted to post a photo of her, uh, or actually of someone else, and making fun of her saying, here's Iggy Azalea with no makeup. Well, she shot back at him with a couple of really rough text messages, and then he went after her. Not only with posting another ugly photo of someone else, but also he created a video where he really cursed her out and gave some really threatening words there, which was not good. So Snoop Dogg, you are on my bad list, okay, all week long. However, by the end of the week, Snoop Dogg went from my bottom zero all the way up to my top. So who gets the gold star for this week is none other but Snoop Dogg. And you know why? Because after all that rigmarole and fighting and screaming and cursing out, he decided to put out a video to apologize. He apologized to Iggy Azalea for what he did and for what he said. He took it back and he ended the week on a good note. So Snoop Dogg, you actually get a gold star for me. Well, that's it for today. Please make sure that you subscribe to my channel and also let me know who you think should and should not be on my O-Behave list. All right, until next time, we'll see you soon.